Okay, let's have a look at question 30. Now, this is a very typical question when you're trying to identify uh, what type of organic compounds you're talking about. And the technique here is using, inf using the infrared spectrum. Okay, now this is actually a learning question. Despite how complicated these graphs look, you're actually just looking at certain areas of that graph, okay? And to, to give you a tiny bit of background information, it's all about the dips, okay? It's all about the troughs. For different organic compounds, you will have certain troughs in certain places on this y-axis, on your wave number axis, okay? And this is basically representing the, the points at which the resonance frequency is for that particular bond. In other words, where those bonds are being stretched. And I can tell you the answer here is going to be D. And it's a quite an easy question if you've learned your, your stuff because Alcohols will have a very pronounced dip in the region between about 3,200 and 3,500 on your wavelength, sorry, your wave number axis, okay? And that's going to be very representative of an alcohol. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, okay, if it's an alcohol, then surely we're talking about the identification here of an OH group, and you'd be right. But there are other organic compounds that also have, have an OH group. So you might be asking, well, why is it not uh, this carboxylic acid, which also has an OH group? Well, the reason is because if you've learned your stuff, you will know that the dip or the trough for carboxylic acids or for the OH group in a carboxylic acid will be slightly skewed to the left. OK, I'll do this in a different color. If this was a carboxylic acid, let me get rid of this you would have your dip for the OH group on a carboxylic acid further to the right on this graph, okay? So you'd have a very pronounced dip there, quite a wide dip there. So really, it's all about knowing where the different dips will be for the different groups. And I really do suggest that you um, use the ChemGuide website. I'll just try and find the link now. Here we go. So use the ChemGuide website and there is a page there where it's talking about the interpretation of the infrared spectrum. And it will talk about where you can expect to find your dips for your different bonds. OK, so um, if I scroll down here, if we're looking at alcohols, you can see here that the main way to identify an, uh, an alcohol will be looking for this dip here in the region between 3,230 and 3,550. OK, now I was a little less specific with my numbers, but there's your key theory there. Now, uh, we spoke about carboxylic acids. Where are they? OK, so carboxylic acid. Um, OK, so when we're looking at the OH bond in carboxylic acids, this will be slightly to the right. OK, in other words, it's at a lower wave number. So you'll have a very broad trough further to the right. If we go back to our exam paper, just like I was explaining, you'd have that trough further to the right for a carboxylic acid. So once again, it's all about knowing your dips in order to get these questions right. Hope that